It's a bridge compilation. Uh, by the way, Cosmic Wonders Episode 1 is going to be up on YouTube later today at 3 o'clock. Follow the link below if you want to go check it out. I hope you're excited. Uh, all right, bye. Wait, I meant to say when it's 3 o'clock, it's 3 Eastern Standard Time, so like three hours by the time you're watching this first time, viewers. Okay, bye. Today I learned that many non-English languages have no concept of a spelling bee because the spelling rules in those languages are too regular for good spelling to be impressive. You ever flex on English speakers by having a language that makes sense? God, people, please, just hire voice actors again. Like, actual voice actors. No more celebrity voice actors, please. Just hire people who know what they're doing or the voice acting industry will cannibalize itself more than it already has. But you can let Jack Black do whatever he wants, though. Open the gate! I'm literally so, so incredibly good at being cozy and in bed covered in blankets, and yet I receive no recognition for it. Satch. <clears throat> you don't want to be rich. You want to live freely. That's it. That's it, man. That's, that's the one. I mean, yeah, he's evil and all, but what if I were his favorite? Massive L to our ancestors for not domesticating the bear for the ultimate friend. I sympathize with the post on one hand, but also, man, we should have domesticated bears. Has the same energy as a divorced dad being like, I should have married that girl from high school, when the girl in question was never ever interested, and also turned out to be a lesbian front woman for an obscure but respected ska revival band? You know, posts like these are why I can't leave Tumblr and have ultimately stopped trying. I... I'm so normal about this piece of media, you don't even know. I just... I just want you to play critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. This is fine! Do you ever just try to think at a 45 degree angle and it works? I've come to the conclusion is because when you lean in that direction, the blood goes to that side of the brain and then your brain is like, Oh shit, yeah, I'm a brain! After seeing your friends for a few hours, sometimes you walk away and return home with a little ball of glowing golden light in your chest. Yeah. Hey, hey, friendly reminder to make sure your supposedly fearless characters get their darkest fear revealed in the worst way possible so they break down into a vulnerable shaking mess in front of all the people they care about. <laughs> Writing it down. Wait, wait, so you're telling me in America you need 59% on a test to even pass it, and you're all expected to get A's, which is like 96% then. How do you survive, guys? How? <laughs> we don't send his ass on a strange journey. That that that's it. That's the entire legend of Wukong right there. Wearing an anime fan's DNI t-shirt to an anime convention and watching people in the crowd be physically blasted back from my energy like I'm parting the Red Sea. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, DNI means do not interact. Okay, got it, cool. I'm sure someone was gonna ask. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was, and you're just like, Girl, I have no idea. None. Horror movies aren't scary. Things like emails, schedules, those are scary. Or appointment made phone calls. You know, if you spell skeletons backwards, it spells skeletons. Man, I can't wait for Halloween to see some Snotelix. Yeah. Fuck! Writing prompt. You never really saw yourself as close to your mad scientist of a sibling, but after a terrible accident, you find them standing over you, having restored you to the best of their ability. Well, I guess we gotta take over the world now. Contrarianism fan versus average nuance enjoyer. Pretty sure it's a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> no, 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 it isn't. You're lying on a sofa, under a blanket, lights dimmed, watching your favorite TV show. Your cat is laid across you, sleeping but purring quietly. All is calm. All is good. But then out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf! So I started with, go to hell is too weak a curse to throw at people. Hit him where it hurts, like, I hope all your soups in the future have a faint bad metal taste no matter what you order or make. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Here are some of my personal favorites. I hope your sleeves roll down while you're washing your hands. You should remember that embarrassing thing you said right before you go to sleep tonight. I hope whatever fandom you're in is overrun by cringe kids who don't understand inappropriate shipping. And every time you tell someone you're in that fandom, they look at you like you committed a crime. 
I hope your monster husband gets turned into a marketable e-boy. When you're in the desert, I hope you find water by stepping in a puddle in your socks. May the writers completely change your waifu slash husbando for no reason, so now you have to find a new one to love. I feel like that's what happens with the fate fandom all the time. Could be wrong, though. Your bread shall never toast correctly. I pray every book you read ends on a cliffhanger that's never mentioned in the following book. Jeez, that one's brutal. I hope your pillows are warm in the summer and cold in the winter. I hope all your Hot Wheels are missing at least one wheel without rhyme or reason. Damn, hit it where it hurts. I hope all cats hate you. I hope your favorite game, movie, or series receives a sequel announced to be industry-defining, and it turns out to be a shell of what it was, a simple cash grab that will continue milking for the rest of time. Damn, this is pretty relevant with Overwatch 2 right now. I hope Netflix makes a half-assed film adaptation of your favorite anime. Wow, Jesus. Didn't just stop with Tumblr either. It also went to Twitter. I hope that every shoe you put on has a thorn in the threading inside the sole, so when you pull it out, it ruins the shoe. So you have to live with it digging into the bottom of your foot, or have a hole in the shoe for other shit to get in. May you never find a matching pair of socks in your drawer ever again. Oh god, this one is from my friend Austin who voices Roche in FF7 Remake. May all your popsicles have exactly one splinter in the stick. Now I kind of imagine him saying that to Cloud. Jesus. May no garment you ever purchase fit exactly right, but not severely enough to where you can't wear it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope your auto saves corrupt. That one's just mean. There's an old Irish insult. May you be afflicted with an itch and have no nails to scratch with. And finally, I hope your waifu becomes a shit meme. So what'd you think? Did you like it? Did your feelings get hurt? Did you write down some curses for yourself? Do you happen to have a curse you want to throw my way? Because that sounds awesome. Reply with your favorite curse below. I don't know how to end this, so Andy, why don't you end it? What's your favorite curse? You can say it or type it out right now. I, it doesn't matter to me. Has ever seen a hummingbird in its nest? <laughs> Oh, uh, OSHA non-compliance, I have angered the wasp population! Like, all of them? Okay, quick question, do werewolves eat dog food or human food? A asking for friend? Mm, I don't know if I trust that. L plus ratio plus don't care plus fleshy showered plus lying in my bed plus got my jammies on. Mm, what if- People about to find out that Bowser is canonically tone deaf the worst way possible, huh? Yes, because here's the thing. Jack Black is a trained professional singer, which means he knows how to sound off-key. Oh, October, be kind. On God, be kind. I'm handing out chocolate and tea to everyone we're blogging this. Good luck, friends. I wish you all the best. You've heard of humans being severely injured to reveal mechanical insides. Now get ready for a far more horrifying alternative. Machines and technology being damaged to reveal meaty, bloody insides. When you're a space alien, you know, the first human you ever encounter is an aggressive medieval knight. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A what? You know what? Writers can have a little italicized oh as a treat. You've earned it. You know, some fictional characters are relatable in a gender way, not because they're non-conforming, but because they're so incredibly into performing their assigned gender that it somehow wraps all the way around. Like some sort of gender overflow error. Barbie? He-Man? Johnny Bravo? Alright, now that the Mario movie trailer has been released, be prepared for the minions to sing the Mario theme song in a high-pitched tune, followed by some violent slapping and a coin block SFX being played. You know I'm right. Bruh, did you seriously not go potty before you left the house? Bruh. Bruh. Did you not make bears? Duh. In my opinion, the biggest Pokemon flex isn't getting a shiny, but capturing a legendary Pokemon with a normal Pokeball first try. Bonus points if shiny, though. I mean, that's, that, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Probably bad RPG ideals. The villain is called the Super Who Lock. Because they're super powerful, no one knows who they truly are. And they're a warlock. Super Who Lock. Andy, write this down, please. I beg you. You know, skaters literally have a lifestyle centered around a piece of wood with tiny wheels. And you have a lifestyle centered around a little keyboard and a kid's show plushie. What's your fucking point? Wow, the skaters are out to get me. The entire skate fandom wants me dead. 
Children in horror movies are great because they commit. Trying to get an adult to scream in terror requires them to unlearn all the societal teachings that tell them not to be loud or startling. Children are ready to put 110% of their lung capacity into making noise at any time. It, it's, it's great. I, I wish. I wish I could learn this. Why nighttime gotta be so damn peaceful? The fucking nerve of her. So beautiful. Mwah. I love you. Behold the above. A violet-backed starling. He looks like a galaxy. <gasps> he fancy! Pepe salad. It's October, so we must once again draw the battle lines between those who like candy corn and those who do not. What battle line? Nobody likes candy corn. Candy corn is delicious! And so, the lines are drawn. While you were attending therapy, I was studying the blade. What do you mean I need better coping mechanisms? I'm just alive. Uh, Being alive is great because there's so many different vegetables you can saute. But then, there are also the horrors. With faith and perseverance, one day we will saute the horrors. Political ads talk about tax evasion as if it is not basically a requirement for the job now. <laughs> I like listening to people talk, so I can see what's normal and what's not normal. Hmm. You don't win D&D by pissing off the DM, you win D&D by having a good time with your friends. This, I am so done with you winning D&D by making DM cry, create more rules, swear. First, this is not the challenge you want. Second, D&D is not a versus and the DM is not your enemy. They are a player with more responsibilities than you. And yeah, I promise I'll be good. Guy who listens to Spotify when he works out, but it's one ad after another, and you think there's going to be a song eventually, but it's all ads, and you catch a glimpse of the playlist title, and it's ads to relax and listen to. Yeah, this is just what listening to the radio is like. May your L's be many, and your bitches be few. <laughs> Today's aesthetic. Trying to work around the fact you can draw hands by giving the character in question a gun which you also can't draw. Shut up. 2023 is in three months, and I'm still processing 2020. Stop what you're doing. Canadian lynx also do the thing that house cats do where they stop grooming with their legs stuck in the air. Okay, carry on. They stick their leggy out real far. That paw, though. A mighty paw. That's some big-ass beans right there. Octopuses can fit through any gap larger than their beak. Wow, what a beautiful octopus. Me walks into a psychic shop and slams down my tarot cards. It's time to duel! That actually hurt to do. Oh no. I fucked up in the crib watching Bob the Sponge. I love vague labels that make people go, but that's confusing. Or, but that could mean anything. Good, keep guessing. Queer doesn't actually tell me anything. Who says I wanted to tell you anything? Who even are you? Get out of my house. Congratulations, Claire Natural. You discovered reblogging. Ooh. Tumblr, I've been on here for almost a decade. Well, it took you long enough to figure it out, idiot. Hot dogs fucking suck because when I buy one and I eat it, then it's gone. It seems I got some news for you about eating in general, my friend. Weather apps are like, SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! REMAIN INDOORS UNTIL- Actually, it's gonna drizzle, lol, psych. SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! It may not rain, actually. NINE INCHES OF RAIN INCOMING! 10% chance of rain. THIS STORM WILL BLOW YOUR CUCK STRAIGHT OFF! <laughs> if Tumblr can show me the latest post and a tag, they should also be able to show me the oldest. Hit me with those sweet 2008 takes, I can handle it. No. No, you can't. Halloween, or rather, Pride Month 2 Electric Spookaloon! <laughs> I hate how I've seen no one talk about the Phineas and Ferb reference in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Barry the Blatibus? That requires playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Anyway! Beastie. Beast plus bestie. Will you creech or will you silly? I will do... Both. Okay, I think dueling your homophobic parents with giant mechs should be the societal norm, actually. Ah, 
I see someone was watching Gundam Witch. If you lose your sense of taste due to COVID, do not eat spicy food, because if you're even less fortunate, your taste buds will switch back on, and the world as you know it will exist only as pain. I'm going to drink a gallon of milk and cry. The milk is spicy! The Terraria wiki is incomprehensible if you've never played the game itself. You click on an article about a weapon that looks nice, and the description will be something like, The Slayer of Titans is a pre-Bingus summoning weapon unlocked post-Scrungle. Its base summon damage is 43. Using it activates the skin blow status effect, which increases your yoinky stat. Its EBTB counterpart is the legendary Fuck Upper. It has 1 out of 16, or 6.25% chance, of dropping by defeating Michael. I don't understand, Terraria. Andy, you've played this. Is this right? My gender is chaos, and my pronouns are may slash him. <laughs> Me atop a small mountain of unfinished projects, prompts, half-baked ideas, essays, and answer to asks. Yeah, I'm a writer. Today I learned when Emperor Honorius was told about the fall of Rome, he cried out, thinking his favorite chicken, named Roma, had died. On hearing that it was instead the city Rome that had fallen, Honorius breathed a sigh of relief. Wow, solid priorities. So my friend's kid has celiac and dyslexia, and reading labels is very difficult for them. They're also, like, seven. So, he's teaching their pigeon, Grey Boy, to read the labels and identify ingredients with gluten. It's going well. Other than Nick thought it would be a good idea to make the behavior when the pigeon does find a bad ingredient to just... fucking wing-slap the box. Just beat the shit out of it, like, NO! BAD GLUTEN! BAD! Woo! They should add some trench warfare mechanics to football. This is already the sport where they have 10 severe injuries in 30 seconds to gain 5 yards of wet grass. What more do you want? Mustard gas. Tumblr's so fucking amazing. You see one post deconstructing the philosophical ramifications of a song from 1946, and then the next post is about how hedgehogs are wizards and must be punished for their crimes. I've come to the conclusion. Tumblr was made specifically for one person. Dr. Eggman! Okay, Walter White was actually pretty funny as a character because he was so toxic that seasoned drug lords were like, I, I cannot work with this, man. I have to put my mental health first. <laughs> By the way, if I say things like, by God or good Lord, in post, please be aware, I don't mean it in a Catholic way. I mean it in a 1950s scientist reacting in horror after they create an evil creature in a lab set in the distant future year 2005. My God. Wow, Shadow the Hedgehog has started writing haikus. Andy, if you still have that sound clip of Shadow, just <laughs> repeat it. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, 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 damn. Implications of having a bird girl roommate. Free breakfast, regularly laid eggs, never lose track of keys, knack for finding shiny things. You are eating her eggs. In this economy? Absolutely. If you got a cow girlfriend, don't tell me you'll still buy milk at groceries. If I had a cow girlfriend, full solid, I would be drinking straight from the tap every day, to save money and for no other reasons. She could even help scramble the bird girl's eggs. How about a polycule farm animal girls get you a sheep girlfriend, infinite cotton? I'm sorry, but sheep produce wool? She grows the cotton. She's very talented. And how about pig girl girlfriend who eats the corpses of your victims? You just can't get content like this anywhere else. <laughs> Fanfiction is awesome because you can watch your OTP fall in love a thousand times in a thousand different ways. Unless your OTP is a rare pair, in which case you can watch them fall in love six times in six different ways. And you wrote four of them. I guarantee you, if I go grocery shopping with either a partner or a bunch of friends, I'm getting in the cart and proclaiming I am indeed an adult. Now bring me down the cereal aisle. Fully able to be responsible in video games, never running out of resources. Completely broke IRL after buying 19 dice sets. Why? You fool! You could have done 20! You had the numbers right there! I'm done with humanity. Can I get a new species? May I suggest sloth? People who think kids are stupid have clearly never once had an attempt to get through explaining a set of safety rules and expectations to a group of them. Lawyers wish they had the falcon eyes for loopholes, technicalities, and potential exceptions that the average third grader possesses. I go outside regularly. <laughs> no, you don't.
Okay, fine, I go outside weirdly. Shout out to violently unhinged characters with pocket dimensions who have been traumatized so severely that they've become completely disconnected from reality and only seem capable of finding joy in someone else's suffering and becoming a much bigger threat to the MC if they wanted but never chose to do so. It's gotta be one of my favorite genders. You doing all right there, Sire Therp? Sire Therp? Sire the RP, that's your name, got it. I think the best, most human thing in the world is strangers doing a silly thing together. Kenja made me cry again. It has a tendency to do that. A lot. Bucket Show, you're childish. I'm actually incredibly mature. <clears throat> pee pee poo poo. Okay, well that, that's just awesome. Like, come on. I am hand washed only. Do not put me in that fucking machine. Get in the machine, Randy. I don't think there is anything more condescending than the dentist asking you how you're doing when it's literally 9 a.m. and you're at the dentist. How do you think I'm doing, Steve? Listen, if you make a woman in bulky armor in your video game and then pull an Uno reverse, then you're like, oh, she was skinny underneath her armor. You are a coward and also my enemy. Because Nintendo's beloved character is Japanese, Mario is his last name. His first name? Itsumi. Way too many people in the notes not getting this one. In my youth, reminisced the old man, scratching his beard thoughtfully, I was quite the corked up white boy. No one in the village could best me at busting it down sexual style. And were you goated, sir? The young boy queried. My dear boy, I most certainly was. With the sauce, I dare say. It's always be the bigger person. And the best thing you can do is be happy and never. So how is the blood-soaked revenge? The blood-soaked revenge looked fun. People who say musicals are unrealistic because no one breaks out in a song has never met a choir or theater kid. We will break out in a song in perfect harmonies. Don't test us. Honestly, human history makes a lot more sense when you remember how many of the decisions were made by 19-year-olds who drank wine for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, that does, that does make a lot of sense now. Never forget that upon saving the world, the gods granted Percy Jackson one undeniable request, and he said, uh, pay your fucking child support. It's even more ridiculous when you take into account the fact that they wanted to make him a god. He then asked him to be responsible parents instead, and the gods replied, Oh, shit, that's a hard thing to do, kid. The Rift is my favorite region in Skyrim. One minute you're admiring it for postcard-like automobile beauty, and then the next you're being mauled by no less than three bears. It's beautiful. Hey, can I bite you? Only if it's gay and you promise to be weird about it. I cannot enter the DMV, lest harmful sorcerers claim my soul. Oh, but you do so desperately need that license renewed, don't you? Surely the sorcerers aren't that harmful. You know, you can renew online, save from the sorcerers. Silence!